Good morning and welcome back and really welcome home back to HJ where we all belong. You know you've had this summer hopefully you've had some rest, some relaxation, some refueling time to energize yourself, to get ready, to come back, to continue our journey. You know sometimes we talk about themes for the year, where we're going, but the reality is it's not a new year. It is a continuation of the journey that we are on. These students started with us, many of them in kindergarten, and have been with us through their high school years. So we're not just starting new. We're continuing that journey, but a new leg of that journey. And we certainly hope that you're ready to continue with us. You know, we can't talk about where we're going without talking about where are we. And as we talk about where are we, we have to certainly focus on those academic indicators from last year. We know what our goals were. They were excellence, as always, being recognized on all campuses. And we did that for three or four campuses. We didn't quite reach that goal for our high school, but only in the area of 10th graders, African American, and science. Our science teachers have been working through alignment practices this summer from third grade all the way through 12th grade, really focusing in on Cisco, focusing in on testing, and focusing in on those kids that haven't quite mastered the language because we see that as the single most strongest barrier to achieving those science scores is in that area of language and the jargon of language. So that's going to continue to be one of our goals this year to strengthen that language all the way from elementary through graduation because our journey is going to take our students into a scientific world. Our SAT and ACT scores certainly have increased this year. That is through the efforts of our AP program. We attribute many of those goals being reached through the pre-AP and AP program at the high schools, but we also certainly know that those goals were reached because of the preparation at the younger levels of our students in their GT classes, their pre-AP classes, and all of those hands-on activities. Increasing our writing scores throughout the district have certainly impacted both the AP and the SAT, ACT scores. And a huge congratulations should go out to all of you for those efforts because it is an accumulation of effort and time with our students that made those things happen. One of the things we're most proud of in our region in Region 5, our high school scores for all tests, you know at the high school we take 10 tests for tax, our high school scores are the highest in six categories, more so than every other school district. We had the highest score in freshman English. We had the highest score in 11th grade science and in four other areas. Where we didn't, in those four areas where we didn't have the highest scores, we had either rank two or three. We consistently get phone calls, and that is all attributed to you guys, about what are you doing? And I tell them every time, it is having an individual plan for an individual student. We know that this journey we're on is about finding those kids that are struggling, finding those kids that need to connect one-on-one -on -one with each other, and then moving them forward. So that's where we are. But we can't talk about where we are without talking about where we've been. Boy, that brings some memories down. We know that we can endure and outlast and work our way through almost anything. Two hurricanes, both Rita and Ike, of huge impact. And in between there, we squeezed in that third Umberto that didn't impact us that much, but frightened us beyond belief. We know what it's like not to be in school for 17 school days. You know what it's like to come back to your school to find no ceiling tiles, very few dry materials, to have kids sit in classrooms and desks with garbage cans and other buckets and devices, everything we can round up to let water drip into. As we move forward, 
I know we worry about change and we worry about where we're headed and we have new testing and all these things, but I'm not afraid. Because you know what? These were our homes. And this is actually what's in pretty good shape. The next slide is our football field. We know when you have this much water, you're going to have damage. And we know that we had this much water in the buildings. We know we had this much water in everything we had plus our homes. We loved our kids. We fed them. They showered here. Many of you supplied meals, school supplies, and a lot of hugs to make it through. So, what are we facing now on our journey? Well, our journey is going to bring us new tests. A financial situation that is the tightest we've ever seen. You know, some people say you shouldn't talk about the negative at the beginning of the year convocation. But I'm a realist. And I promised you a long time ago, I'd always be honest. We have fewer staff members than we've ever had. And more kids than we've ever had. <laughs> We're going to do this. I'm not afraid about this. I'm not frightened. Because I know you. If you can get through the hurricanes and the building of new buildings and cleaning your own space to get moved in, we can do this. You've all contributed to the plans we have and we're going to do it. Because that's what we do. I know there's lots of talk about this new grade book program. Change is difficult for all of us. The new grade book program is the unknown. And it is a tool you use every day. It's like telling a carpenter, I'm sorry, we're taking your hammer and you're using something else. I know you can adapt. You can adapt because you've proven you can adapt time and time again. And we're going to master this and in a few weeks, you're going to say, oh, it wasn't a big deal. Because you've told me that before. New state testing. Some of you have been blessed <laughs> to be in the district long enough and be teaching long enough to know that we're going to live through this because you've lived through tabs and teams and toss. Some of you are brand new teachers with us and you're saying, I've read everything I can read and it keeps changing. And that is going to be the case. We're going to adapt. We're going to be flexible. And then we're going to excel on these tests. Because we always do. Hard work, individualized instruction, and doing everything with integrity will lead us through the change process. Because we know where we're headed. Where our destination is. And that is our vision. We are HJ. Our core beliefs are, and we went through an entire synthesis process last year in the revision of our vision. And in the revision, we came back to the three cores, the things we've always believed in. Working with integrity. Having high moral and ethical expectations for ourselves and our students. And when we base every question we raise on, is this the right thing? Is this the honest thing? Is this the true thing? We're going to be there. Our second part is preparedness. We're going to plan. And that is going to be carried out. That has already started this summer. Many of you have been working for weeks. And last but not least, we know these two ideals will lead us to academic excellence. Our journey tells us we've been there, we'll be there again, and we will continue to push forward because the journey does not end June 1st. 